Hey guys, so we are gonna show you how to paint some Necron terrain. Uh, this is from TT Combat, it's about six quid and it is a cyber tower. So I'm gonna show you how to paint this up. So uh, it is laser cut MDF terrain, so let's get it open. Without breaking the camera. So it looks pretty easy to put together. There's only a few sheets here. Let's get it built. Okay guys, so I built it. Uh, it needs a little bit of a clean around the edges there with a the knife and such. Oops. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna clean this off with a knife and go and give it a spray of normal primer. Okay guys, here we go. So it's primed up just to get a nice coat on there. Uh, and what we're gonna do is, we're gonna actually spray this now with Rakaf Flesh. Thought about doing it some other colours, you know, I, I do a lot of Bain Blade Brown on um, the models themselves, but I'm just going to go straight in with this. I've missed a bit there, but that's not a problem. So, straight in with the airbrush, uh, and I've actually turned the pressure up a little bit here, um, because I want to make sure that I get a really nice coverage. Um, yeah, so I want to spray the entire lot rack off flesh. Okay guys, so now that has dried and I found the piece to put back in there. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna dry brush this white. Uh, so I've got a reasonable size brush, it's not massive. Um, it, it's reasonably firm, uh, it's not too soft and I'm literally using some uh, cheap white acrylic paint uh, that I picked up from B&M. And just gonna dry brush all the edges basically. Probably need to a little bit more than the more I'm doing. There we go. And just literally dry brushing the whole lot so that it picks up all the edges. It is quite hard to see on camera because of how bright I've got the lights, but it is visible. There you can actually see it a bit more there where I've done it a bit thicker. So I'm literally just going to go around the whole model applying the white dry brush to all of the edges. And it's okay if you get some on the flat surfaces as well, it just helps give that a little bit extra texture. There we go, I'm going to continue going around the model and I'll show you it when I'm done. Okay guys, so we're nearly finished, I've done the whole model with white. And what I'm going to do now is paint some of the insides here with Calador Sky. Now I don't need to be particularly neat, but at the same time I don't want loads of uh, paint to go over the edges. I just want to get a nice base coat down on everything that's in the gaps basically.
and again just being rough getting the thick of it down and that is so that when we do the airbrushing bit uh, it's got something nice to grip to and something that's covered quite a lot of that so I'm gonna finish the rest of this off and we'll come back in a few minutes okay guys so now we're moving on to the airbrush and I'm gonna use Vallejo magic blue and what I'm gonna do is literally just spray all the gaps there um, the aim is cover it give it a nice even coat if you happen to get a little bit of overspray on the edges cool so And you can see there, there's just a little tiny bit going over the edges uh, and that's all you want for the moment really and just cover all of the blue with that just so that it gives it that tiny bit highlight and then we'll come back with the next colour. So now that we've done that we're going to highlight it a little bit finer with um, electric blue which is a much lighter shade and we're just going to stick to the centres. much quicker core and all it does is I just realized I've knocked the camera out of focus all you're doing is just basically um, leaving the thick area the darker color There we go, and then I'm going to do the same again after adding a tiny bit of white into the airbrush. So there we go, um, I'm going to do that with the rest of it and we'll see how it comes out and there's only one more step. Right, ho guys, so there we go almost completely finished and uh, I like the bit of glow and the overspray is basically to represent that you know that the center is glowing and lighting up I almost wish that I actually had a tesseract dark now um, but I don't or a tesseract vault rather um, yeah I've only got the obelisk and unfortunately I bought it second hand and it came as the obelisk so well one can hope anyway Last stage, um, because my Necrons have sort of red sandy base uh, themes, uh, you can see here on this Wraith, which I've sneakily just painted up recently along with the Cryptek, that I've done some weathering powder on the silvers just to tie it in, and of course on the red base there as well. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring that, um, you know, into the terrain. So this is a makeup brush and I didn't buy this, Lucy gave me it, so thank you Lucy. Um, and I'm going to use some Vallejo pigments, this is Sienna, uh, or burnt Sienna rather. Uh, and all you do is you dip your brush in and you can see here it does pick up a lot of pigment. Tap it off like that, so you've got quite a lot of loose pigment on your brush. Uh, and then what we're going to do is just initially just dab some on and we're only going to go about a centimeter or so up I don't want to go any further up than that to be honest and then obviously any any excess that drops off uh, pick it up off your desk ideally use a piece of paper or something under this so that any wastage that you don't use you can literally just put Strip back in your pot. And then we'll just 
continue going round. Now as much as I am covering obviously the, the lower parts of this, I'm going to put a very small amount a little bit further up uh, as well. And obviously the more you dab and the thicker you go over it with the, the darker the, the shade will be. There you can see the, the lighter I'm doing it, the less colouring that goes into it. So then all I'm going to do is use my excess off the uh, cutting mat here and then just to put a couple of dabs here and there just to add that little bit more colour and texture. the rest of it. And there we go. Just so that it blends in a bit easier. It does look very, very stark on camera, um, but it, it, it's quite nicely blended in person. So there you go. That is um, Necron Terrain by TT Combat. Please go and check them out. Uh, you know these pieces are pretty cheap. Uh, I've done a second one, which I'm about to go and add the, um, the weathering powder to. Um, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, please check out the rest of the channel and of course check out the Necron Army Overview uh, and Battle Reports. So thanks very much for watching guys and we'll see you again next time.